Or no, this is winner's oh, finals. Winner, winner of see it. Never mind. It's going to be Vladin against Charlie the King. What am I saying? That was only winner's semis a moment ago. We're going to see Charlie in yet another best of five before winner's sides of grands. Still has one final opponent to overcome before he can make it there. And Vladin really formidable. I believe Charlie was able to take it pretty handily the last time these two faced. I believe at a hat as well, but... That being said, you know Vladin is so diligent, he has almost certainly studied this VOD. Although, look at this. Charlie has just been able to rack up 82% worth of damage. Flashes back, bypasses the ledge, but was able to pull up the shield in time. Lovely yep. down smash read there, coming from Charlie. Look at these backers. Look at the way he's facing. Just a bit telegraphed at this point, but it would have certainly killed if it met its match. It turns back on stage for the up air. On top of the platform. Good parry, and that will free up his return. That tilt will put him back off stage. Just delayed his vertical and his horizontal momentum a bit there with the reflector. All the whiffing that Dolphin Slash and he's going to be met immediately with an up smash on top of the platform. Another parry on the Dolphin Splash. Gets the Nair into another combo starter. Uses the blaster, although was not able to run away from the approaching Nair in time. And the counter is going to do it. Valadin just knows what tools he has in his tool belt at any particular time and pulls out the right one in that instance. Another landing there, although did not get the tech in place, had the invincibility pop up in the heat of the moment. Dash attack. Although landing aerial from Vladin this time. Parry's only the first hit of Nair. That's so unfortunate. We saw Charlie just saying that you had to just hold shield if you got the first hit of a multi-hit parry. That just didn't heed his own advice there. Oh, that shield breaker. Back throw. Yes, indeed. Charlie the King has Vladin onto his final stock here in game one. that. Out of the way of the blaster, though. Down tilt. Misses the tech, and that's going to be free real estate for a back air, though, from Verladen. Could have gone for a counter if he was prepared moments earlier, but he's going to have to settle for a more basic punish. Dolphin Slash out of shield is going to tack on 8% of damage. That time is I'm not quite sure if that was unteckable, but sent him rocketing off that underside of the stage. And Charlie out of that second stock. It's going to be a last stock situation. Dancing Blade will put him back onto center stage. Approaches with a fair. Look at this. Fair into fair. Another time of the fair. He was mulling over perhaps a hard flash, but maybe not in, not in winner's finals, surely. If he had a stock lead, I'm sure he was considering it, but that time a bit delayed on the flash and Vladin able to escape in time. Parry into F-tilt, though. Not able to two-frame with that second F-tilt, but the up air into a second up air extends it off of that side platform. And Charlie to King. A shaky start but a steady middle and a very solid ending. Charlie is going to be rewarded with the first game of Winner's Finals. You know, having the opportunity to commentate these uh, Winner's Finals lets me realize that a lot of these top players come out uh, and come off from ledge with an option. Mainly aerials, you know. Mm -hmm. Must be the high the high player tech. No, certainly. A lot of the time when you're just able to immediately jump after you drop down from ledge, 
it just allows you so much more, you know, if you want an immediate option, the two characters have fairly good range on their getup attacks, but if you want excellent range and are able to, you know, if you're willing to sacrifice a bit of end lag for that, approaching Nair off stage is probably the way to go. Jumps right into that short hop Nair, though. Did you happen to see that parry into parry? Because that was, that was kind of insane. He parried an attack, went for his punish, and the <laughs> and Vladdy parried it right back. Absolutely, that was clean. Just a back and forth here from the two of them. Neither one able to gain the upper hand thus far. Looking for the dash grab twice there. Although this time, a second consecutive flash is going to return back on stage. Vladdy wasn't in shield, so entirely unprepared for that. Just whiffs that time, though. Charlie looking for the side B four times in a row. Uses the air dodge to make it back to conserve the jump. That time he didn't have to go for the flash. He could just use that firewolf. Very interesting read. read with the with the forward smash. This is with that second half smash rolls back. Dash attack will carry him off the top. Even with the sour spot, Charlie King aided out by the rage there. Although as soon as that fair connected with the shield, Vladin knew what to do. That frame six dolphin slash out of shield. It's it's just such a good catch all option, and it it's so it detracts a lot of people. It discourages them from ever pressuring the shield once again. Up throw into up air though. Read the DI well. You know, the way these guys parry, I wouldn't even want to hit their shield anytime. Blaster will force him back off stage. Ecto will carry him off. A bit early with a down smash. Ecto. You know, Valadin is looking for the shield break in a disadvantaged state. away this time. Takes the right option from Charlie Valadin. Just double back. Oh, and he gets the raw wolf flash as well. That downward angle is able to catch grounded opponents as we saw right there. And Valadin just caught completely off guard there. Baiting out the up B. Getting the aerial punish. Back air though from Charlie. And the second one from Valadin this time. Got the grounded footstool. Or the phantom footstool rather. And Charlie's out of a jump, so he's going to have to use that Firewolf. And Vladin will be all too happy to meet it with an F-Smash. Look at this fair into fair into Nair into dash attack. Was that 66%? And he's out of a jump. Oh going to be met God, with that stare. Vladin ah. is going to be plummeting <laughs> wow. down. Charlie isn't slowing down. Not at all, boy. Oh my goodness. I think he was dead anyway because the Dolphin Slash doesn't snap back from that distance, but Charlie isn't going to let Vladin SD there. Even after taking his jump, he takes his soul as well. He said, we're not leaving it up to the drift to get to the ledge. You leave it up to me. Good spot dodge, though. Knows that Charlie wants to go for early throw combos, and... Vladin cognizant of that spot dodge. You saw him go for it again, but Charlie just backed out that time. That tilt. This time only gets the first hit. Only got Nair one. Gonna Firewolf and miss the legend. That's gonna be excellent timing from Vladin to just get that throw instead. Goes back the Dolphin Slash out of shield. And this is with the Firewolf, though. We've seen Charlie, you know, we've seen him. Excellent tech chasing with the down smash, by the way. Someone on Twitter discovered that there are confirms, undiscovered confirms, or hardly labbed out confirms that into Firewolf that lead to kill options. And Charlie's just been going for them there, but Valadin with a grounded option is just going to meet him. And out of shield, it's going to be his ticket. Misses with the shield breaker. Crosses 
bounces him up with a dash attack and the reverse nair will pop him back to that other side of the stage. Well, Latin is still holding on to that first stock, so, you know, as many attacks as he's missing here, he's playing very cautiously. If he's missing attacks, Charlie is as well, and that'll only work out for him when he already has a stock lead. This is with the wolf flash, and Aladdin was just running to the other direction. DI'd in on the down throw. Down tilt. Is the dash attack almost going to do it? Gets a few pummels, and with the down throw this time, perhaps looking for a DI mix up. Hanging on the shield, unable to read the roll with the dash attack. Although the raw F tilt, not even out of shield, Veladin. F tilt does outspace every one of Lucina's grounded options in this particular matchup. And against a sorted character, having a long range move that you can approach with is certainly welcome. It isn't, isn't safe on shield, but is just something you might have to go for. Good tech, though. I believe her only option with a with decent range that can possibly contest it is down to. I think it even outspaces that if it's angled downwards. Gets the full hop back here though. Wanted to go with the lasers and just showing no mercy there. A suicidal <laughs> wolf <laughs> fire. Wow. So, so potent. Charlie. I think they both needed a deep breath after that one, sitting on the platforms there. What is this man even on? Parrying. Oh, and he gets oh the hard callo on the neutral getup with the S smash. Charlie the King just set up permanent residence in Valadin's head there. And just a human highlight reel, especially throughout that entire set. Charlie is going to punch his ticket in the winner's side of Grands that time. And any one of just 